Now, the life cycle of these fish are you know, nothing short of magical. So they're, they're born in a river, and then once they're old enough, they swim down the river into the ocean and then swim hundreds, if not thousand miles away from that river. Four years later, something clicks, and they all rush back to the same river and into the very same spot they were born four years earlier. And this is where they, in turn, spawn and give birth to the next generation. And along the way, they face every kind of obstacle imaginable. Commercial fishing, sport fishing, and subsistence fishing. So West Coast culture is pretty much synonymous with salmon. It's hard to overstate the importance to the culture. But what I find most amazing about the, the salmon migration is that as soon as they return into the rivers, so when they move from salt water into fresh, they start to die. They, they undertake this drastic transformation. They mutate from these kind of sleek silver beans that they once were into these rotting bodies with bright red and green skin with hooked jaws and, and humped backs. I mean, they look like death itself. And then just before they die, they release these kind of shimmering spheres of perfection, which is almost like all of their good has been concentrated and left to the next generation. 